Welcome back everybody for another Adobe Muse tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve Looney and in today's tutorial I'm going to be going over exactly how to set up what is called a tabbed panel in Adobe Muse. And it's actually very simple to set up. I say that at the beginning of all my videos. It's very simple because I, I couldn't imagine a way to build this in Dreamweaver or any other custom way um, without the amount of headaches that it seems like it could give you. But basically what a tab panel is, if you look on the homepage of my website, this is a tab panel right here under recent projects. Basically, I have one, two, three, four tabs. Now, as I roll over the actual tab itself, it changes, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also a option to set it to uh, change when you click on it. And now within these tabs, you can really put whatever information you want. You can have text, you can have an image, and then every time you get to the next tab, it changes to what you put in there. But what I decided to do was I decided to put a slideshow within the tab, which is like an extra step, but it's something that is definitely something you want to consider, uh, especially you know if you're sharing uh, portfolio stuff on your website. Because if you look at my homepage right now, you do have the main banner changing, but then, as you roll over here, as you start to scroll down the page to get more information, you're going to have this start to change. Um, it's not overbearing and they're not going too quick. It's going slow enough where it doesn't, you know, make the viewer go crazy because stuff is changing everywhere. So let's jump into Adobe Muse CC and I'll show you exactly how to build this. And, and just by the way, just want to let you know that this is a very custom, this one, uh, custom backgrounds, custom buttons, um, this simple tab panels. Uh, look a little bit more plain than this, but they still do the same thing. So let's go check it out. Okay, so now we are in Adobe Muse CC, and I'm basically going to show you this by breaking it down, showing you what I have already, and then rebuilding it. And uh, there's a lot of ways to build the uh, tabbed uh, panels, um, but I'm going to show you this one specifically. Now, Basically, if I take my tab panel and I move it, you're going to see there's a background. Now, this background image was something I created in Adobe Illustrator because Adobe Muse cannot design graphics. And I'm able to do this in these other programs and then import them as an image and then put it to the back behind my uh, panel, which is transparent. And it's great. It works awesome. So I'm going to back up a second so this comes back on top. You're going to notice if I roll over here, it's going to say, that's my tab panel. It's telling me what it is. I'm going to click now it's going to say I have selected the tab container and I'm going to click again and show you that it's going to basically say this is the tab now to work on individual tabs you're going to have to click each one and then do specific things within there that I'm going to show you um, so right now I'm going to move this entire thing out of the way and I'm going to show you where to find the actual option for the tab panel because you may not want to do something custom like this and that's okay you want to come up in your widgets library and you want to come up into panels and in panels you want to grab the tab panel and you want to literally just click and drag it into your canvas beautiful isn't it comes right up there like just like so now what you can do is you can literally just resize it to the way that you want it um, and you're going to notice something if i try to make this shorter it's going to jump back and the reason being is because the content is very long in here now if you notice this tab has an image and this tab has text okay just say this image was an image you imported okay on your own the way that you get it into a tab panel is literally you click the image and you drag it in because when you roll over you see how it turns blue it's going to import it in there and you see as it actually accommodated by making it a little bit larger. Um, the same thing with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of the tab panel so it's disappeared now. And you can always just start a text box. You know what? I'm gonna start my own text box up here, or by hitting T on the keyboard. I'm going to draw a little box. I'm gonna say, and this is text. Text. And I'm going to copy that. I'm gonna click that, and again. The way that you do this is you pull it in, it turns blue. That means it's it's jumping in here. Now, I want to click on tab number two or the middle tab. You're going to notice that, again, that text goes to uh, very low, so you can't make it shorter. I'm going to delete some of that text. I'm going to make that box higher. And then 
we're going to try and do this again. And as you see, it doesn't work again. That means that there's something on this third panel, again, that is way too long. So we need to take all this out for right now. And, you know, you can make it as custom as you want for yourself, but this is just showing you how this pretty much works. Now I'm able to scale that. So that's a beautiful thing right there. Um, if you want to scale the buttons, you're literally going to have to click until you're in the label, and you're going to have to pull this down. Because if you pull it up, oh, actually it does, excuse me, it does scale it up. Uh, so you're going to either scale it up or down and make the buttons the way that you want. Um, you can use styles in here. Um, you can use the different states. So for instance, if you want to, if you're in normal state, you want, uh, and you know, I have another video on states coming out, um, but basically you can have it so when you roll over, it does change states. As you notice on my live website, when I roll over, the states do change, but I did it a different way. I'm going to go over states in a second for this specific project, but uh, that's just showing you how the tab panel works. Um, and you basically customize it. You customize anything else. But the most important thing is that, again, I'm going to drag it out and it's out completely out of the entire tab right now. The way you pull it back in, it, again, when you pull it in, it turns blue around it. And now you're going to notice there are some options, just like pretty much everything else you design here in Muse. Uh, if you click on something, you're going to notice this little blue arrow, fly out, whatever you want to call it, pops up. You're going to click that and it's going to give you options. Um, you have the option to edit things together. So when you do something to one tab, it's going to basically apply it to the next. Um, that sim that sounds similar to CSS styling uh, in your paragraph styles up here, but you'll set those as something different. Uh, that's mainly for the headers. Whatever you do for the headers on one is going to change for the other. You can uncheck edit together to do them individually if you like. Um, the event. The event is basically what's going to happen when you go over these tabs. Uh, is the event going to be a clickable event or a rollover event? So when you roll over them, is it going to change? Or when you click, is it going to change? Uh, I have chosen to make a change when it, you roll over it because that's I think it's pretty cool. Uh, total width is uh, basically uh, uniform. So no matter how long the actual uh, word is, the actual tab title, uh, it's going to make sure that everything is... Uh, the same the same width on each tab uh, fit to content will you know if you have one tab that's really large and one tab that's really small it's gonna it's gonna fit them differently I believe um, and let's see sub element visibility uh, you can show a left icon uh, you can show the label we well, should show the label and uh, or show a right icon um, arrange horizontally let's mess around with these let's see what happens here I usually just use the default horizontally and center align. That's what I want to do there. So um, those are the other options. And then if you want to add another tab, you basically just hit this plus sign right here. And did I click it? Oh, I didn't click it. All right, there we go. So that's your fourth tab now. And you, as you notice, it's empty. So that's when we would start to drag our elements in like these other ones. Okay, so now we're going to build this actual tab panel. And basically what I want to first do is I want to come up to File, Place, or Command D on the keyboard. And I want to select this background. Now, while I'm in here, I'm just going to point out that you're going to notice I have different states. I have a normal state and a rollover state for each all four categories. So I'm going to have a total of eight images. I designed these images in Illustrator and then I imported them, I'm going to import them into here because I couldn't get as custom as I wanted to with the tab. Uh, so you're gonna notice even web design, a regular state and a rollover state. I'm gonna now grab that tab gallery back and hit open. I'm going to click on my canvas so it actually pastes it on there. Now, the reason I did this was because when I pull my tab panel onto the canvas, I wanna make sure that I size it up correctly with the body. What we're going to do in each tab is we're going to remove all the content. So we're going to click the image, we're going to click the text. We're going to come into number two, click the image, click the text. And we're going to come into number three, image and text. I'm now going to hit the plus button to add, add a fourth panel because I do have four in my final design. Did I click that? One more time. All right, there it is. Um, I'm now going to click into my body copy. So you're going to have to click once and then twice. I'm going to take the fill, I'm going to fill it to none, and I'm going to take the stroke, and I'm going to change that to none. 
And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to resize this and I want to make sure that it is the same size. We can even zoom in here. Let me zoom in. Make sure it's the same size as that piece behind it. I might have to change this around a little bit later, but that's okay for now. I'm now going to go into here and I'm going to pull up one of these tabs. Okay. Make it a little bit higher. See, it might be too high. I'm going to select all this. I'm going to range it down. Go to the left a little bit. And again, I might have to resize all this stuff later. This, you know, this. This tab panel maybe took an hour to build, so I'm going to try to do this in the next, you know, 10 minutes, uh, five, 10 minutes, you know, going over everything too. Um, you're going to notice just as it, like with anything else, there are different states. You have the normal state, the rollover, the mouse down, and the active. I am first going to come into, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete the text in all these. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back into the first one. Why not? Let's work with the first one. And it's great because if I click in here, it still says they're going to edit together, which is great. I'm going to come into my my normal state. I'm going to change the fill to none. And it's going to do the normal fill to none on all of them, which is great. I'm going to change the stroke also because I don't want to stroke on these either. All right. So the normal, it's great because the normal rollover mouse down and active are all the same for all these right now. Okay, so we're ready to put our images in our actual tabs itself. Now, what you want to do is you want to first click on this entire piece. You want to click options and you want to uncheck edit together because you did everything that really needs to be edit, edit, edited together so far. Uh, you're now going to click in the tab container until you actually click the tab. You see how the uh, little uh, points are just around this piece now. You want to make sure you get on the normal state and you want to first, if that says white in the fill, you want to change that to none. Mine does say none. Uh, I'm now going to click on the word fill and I'm going to click in image. I'm now going to select logo design tab normal because that's going to be my normal state. Positioning wise, you could either put the center point, I would suggest, or the center bottom. I'm going to do the center bottom in this case. Uh, what you now want to do is you want to come into the active active state and all you're going to do in the fill area is you're going to change the image to logo design rollover okay so you're going to see my normal is here and my active i'm sorry the rollover is going to be different because this is a tab so when you actually roll over it it's going to it's already in the active state when you roll over it uh if you do it like that you can also change the rollover um, if you like initially, but you don't have to do it in here. Again, we're going to do it. You're, you're going to have to click on normal each time you click on a tab and we're going to add image here is web design normal. Make sure that's to the bottom positioning point right there. We're going to click active and we're going to do the rollover and the rollover will still stay in that bottom position also, which is great. All right, so let me just speed through this real quick and finish these other two. All right, so I now have the four states of the logo design, web design, business cards, and brochure design pages. Uh, let's see what we could do here. Um, you can increase this so the tabs actually touch the outside. You know, you're deceiving people a little bit because that now the gallery is a little bit larger. Uh, I believe that's what I did. Yep, I, that's what I did in my original one. So now as I click logo design, web design, business cards, brochure design, you're going to see that happen. Uh, I'm now going to real quick go to file preview page in a browser to basically it's going to export this one page and it's going to show me what's going on so far. All right, so here we go. Now, all right, so I did not set it as a rollover yet. These are still set as the rollover over here, but right now we have one click, click, click. So you could do it that way if you'd like, but that's how uh, we're not going to do it on here. So I'm now going to come back into Muse, and I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to make the event on rollover. So when we check that later, it's going to work correctly. Now, this is where the fun comes in. Basically, what we're going to do is one by one is we're going to click on, for instance, the first tab. And now that we've clicked on logo design, this con content area is going to be active. 
So whatever you put in this content area is going to be a part of this tab. It's like making its own individual page. So what I decided to do was I decided to make photo galleries or slideshows, excuse me, in here. And I'm literally just going to uh, take a blank slideshow and I'm actually going to put it off to the side for right now. All right. Um, you know what? I actually, I'm going to put it in there for right now because I want to size it up correctly. I am going to take my slideshow and I'm going to resize it. Now, I just did another video on photo gallery slideshows, so check it out. If you have any questions, just make that a little smaller. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take off the previous, the next button, the counter, and the captions. I'm going to add thumbnails for a second. All right, actually, no, I'm not going to add my thumbnails here because it's going to screw my whole gallery up. Let me back up. I'm going to pull the gallery out of here. All right, I'm going to move over. It's cool you have all this extra room to work over here. I'm now going to click. I'm going to go to Add Images. And I'm going to come into my tab gallery, and I'm going to come into the Logo Design folder. And I made one, two, three, four PNGs. If I make these larger, you're going to see. Um, the reason I made them PNGs is because they're transparent, and it's still going to show that nice background. Remember I showed you before with the gradients? It's going to show it right through it. So, you know, a little bit of work went through in uh, – Illustrator making this. So now I have one, two, three, four. Now, the reason I don't like this already is because there's already a color in the background. We got to take that out. So we're going to click in here. We're going to click in again. We're going to change the fill to none. All right. We're now going to come up in here. And like I said before, as we pull this in, you're going to see it turns blue. All right. Where is it? Right. Did it do it? It looked like it did it. Hold on one second. Let me pull this out of here for a second. It's a little bit smaller. As we pull this in, all right. Oh, the, that's the reason. All right, we're gonna fix that real quick. Pull that back in. All right, now you see it turns blue right there. Now we have a photo gallery inside that one tab. And if you want to edit that photo gallery, again, you have to click here. You have to click again. And you have to click one more time until you get this and you can move it. Now you can set the photo gallery options. You can see how fast you want it to go. You want it to auto play. Is there a fade between everything? Uh, it's actually really cool. So um, basically you would do that for all three, one, two, three, four of these. I'm going to one more time, go into file preview page and browser because I don't need to go through all these if I just show you how to do that one. And yes, I do make my videos long because I really do try to go into everything so you understand it a lot more. All right, let's see what happens. Boom, there goes the change. And you see there's nothing in these three yet because we haven't done them yet. So that is exactly how to make a tab panel in Adobe Muse CC. Uh, like this video, please share it out on your social networks. If you found that this was important and it helped you out, let me know in the comments also. Um, I appreciate a lot of time goes into making these tutorials. So um, you know any feedback and help would be much appreciated. And uh, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my series, and I will see you guys for the next video. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.